Okay, so third paragraph of Revelation, Time, and Miracles. All should be reserved for revelation, to which it is perfectly and correctly applicable. It is not appropriate for miracles because a state of awe is worship, implying that one of a lesser order stands before his creator. You are a perfect creation and should experience awe only in the presence of the creator of perfection. The miracle is therefore a sign of love among equals. Equals should not be in awe of one another because awe implies inequality. So I'm going to stop right there really quick and just kind of go over what I just read. Um, what that means to me is um, basically exactly what it says. It's like you and I were equals, we're brothers, you know, our creator, God, higher power, energy, divine, loving light, you know, whatever it is for you. Um, created us all with the same amount of love and with the same amount of uh, respect and um, we are all equal so you know just like it says like we shouldn't be in awe of each other because we're equal and um And, um, yeah, and so the only thing that we should be in awe, I really like what it says about, um, awe is a sign of worship because, I don't know, I've just kind of like what I was saying in the video before this, like, when I am in true gratitude, I'm in awe for everything that's ever happened. And I am like in love with God, you know? Um, so anyways, that just was like a lot of meat. So I'm going to keep reading now. Um, Equals should not be in awe of one another because awe impl implies inequality. It is therefore an inappropriate reaction to me. An elder brother is entitled to respect for his greater experience and obedience for his greater wisdom. He is also entitled to love because he is a brother and to devotion if he is devoted. It is only my devotion that entitles me to yours. There is nothing about me that you cannot attain. I have nothing that does not come from God. The difference between us now is that I have nothing else. This leaves me in a state which is only potential in you. So, um, I like that. It's like, if you have more experience than me, if you have more wisdom, like, yes, then I will listen to you and I will heed your word, but not because I worship you, you know? And everyone deserves love because they exist. And... What? You want to listen? My brother wants to listen to me read out of this book instead of watch my videos on YouTube so he can make me shy. <laughs> All right, you can come and sit and listen. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's just the ego that makes me shy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know... Um, everyone is entitled to love simply because they exist. So he is entitled to love because he is a brother. And, you know, I've had this experience where people have kind of been like, oh, wow, you're such an inspiration to me. Like people have said that to me. And it's really like I wouldn't be an inspiration to anyone if I wasn't trying to live this way of life. Um, and so it's not really even me that's an inspiration. It's my higher power acting through me that's an inspiration. And really... I think what I like the most in this paragraph um, is where they say, I have nothing that does not come from God. The difference between us now is that I have nothing else. And um, I like that because it's kind of, you know, it helps me remember that as I forget, as I let go of everything that isn't me, like what will be left will be this like pure creation um, 
And it's a slow process, you know, I obviously, just by the reaction of my brother wanting to come and sit down and hear me, have a lot of work to do and a lot of ego still in me, you know? Um, and when I read this part, this leaves me in a state which is only potential in you. It's like, I'm the one who's an only potential, right? It's whoever wrote this book that um, says that they've let go of everything that isn't God. So... I don't even know that they're necessarily talking about themselves truly um, because I believe this book was written through automatic writing, which was just like God being channeled through a person, you know? So in that moment, it was just God being channeled through a person. So anyways, thanks for listening. Okay, bye.